Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-February 2024 reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do have a recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly and you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. Column number one, we're going to take a look at what's coming for the remainder of February. Column number two, we're going to do a bunny reading. Column three is anything related to love. And our fourth and final column is a message from our future self or spirit guides, which is almost like advice for the remainder of the month. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. Um, but, but let's get into it. Again, column number one, what's coming for the remainder of February. So here, Aquarius, we have the reaction card. This is an interesting one, and it kind of goes one of two ways. So we'll talk through this. But I feel like recently something pretty big, pretty significant could have happened, Aquarius. And we just like haven't had the time to process what's happened. Like we haven't reacted, we haven't processed our feelings to the situation. The other meaning of this card is there could be something that happens in these next few weeks that really like brings a big reaction up. And I always like to be really careful how I say this because I don't love the word overreaction, but it's like, again, something could bring a really strong reaction and then a little bit of time passes and you're like, oh, maybe it really wasn't that big of a deal. So we kind of want to watch out for like an overreaction or having really strong feelings in the moment. But I feel like there's some feelings that maybe need to be processed or again, we could be going through that situation that kind of causes that strong reaction for us, right? Okay, looking at our cards now, first up we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a very generous card. This is a card um, of giving or receiving. In this, card, in this case, I feel like you need to um, like take time. And I know that's really an interesting way. It's like you're being given time. I'm hearing you're like taking time. So again, something happened that I feel like we haven't yet reacted to. Or when we get this big news, we need to like take time to react. We need to uh, take a little bit of time regardless of the this, this scenario, whatever path it is for you. The next card we have is the Temperance card. I love the Temperance card. This is a card of balance, harmony, calm. Again, I feel like something big happened, but once we work through it, we do this kind of find this peace, this calm, this harmony, this balance. Um, I also think this will actually end up being good for you, whatever this is, again, this thing that's happening. Again, it's bringing this calm, it's bringing this balance, it's bringing this peace, it's bringing this harmony that we see with the Temperance card. The Temperance card is also a card of moderation, so it again is that kind of give or take, and I feel like we need to take a little bit of time here. At the bottom we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is very uh, solid practical wise. Again, we have to have like our solid practical wise hat on. We can't have a really emotional response here. Again, we do need to process the feelings. We can acknowledge what happens, but it's like if we can go in with that solid practical wise hat on, it'll be really good for us. Also, this is a card of investments, so really good investments when we see the King of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this is just saying that this is a good outcome for you, but I feel like there could also be an investment opportunity for you, and I feel like it could be really promising. Always like when we see investments connected to our King of Pentacles. All right, now let's take a look at our clarifiers here, Aquarius, and see what other messages I can give you. First up we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a card. Um, this is like Prince or Princess Charming, very romantic, knight in shining armor. Um, this could be love related news. Not all of it, but it definitely could be, not for all of you, but it definitely could be love related news for some. Um, the Knight of Cups though is also like the ideal, the perfect. Um, so I feel like this could be like something that you didn't expect it to be. It wasn't the vision you had in mind. It wasn't the, the perfect scenario you were expecting it to be. Um, so again, that's what's kind of causing this reaction. So either we haven't yet responded to it or we need to try and kind of cool off and not have a really strong reaction. But I feel like we thought we had this kind of perfect vision or this ideal situation and I don't think it works out exactly that way there, Aquarius. Um, up next, we have the Five of Cups. 
I, I just feel like there's a little bit of like sadness, grief, sorrow. Again, we're, I feel like there was something and it just didn't happen the way we wanted it to. Like I, I keep seeing like the ideal, the epitome, the perfect, that exact scenario and it just wasn't what, how we wanted it to be. So again, we're sad. We're sad that things didn't work out the way that we wanted to. But I actually, again, think this ends up being really positive for you. You do come to peace with this. You come to terms with this really quickly. And I actually think it benefits you here with the King of Pentacles at the bottom. And then we also have the Six of Wands, which is interesting. This is a card of victory, award, recognition, good news, success. So it's like coming out, there's a win here to still be had, which is great to see. Um, I actually think we're going to be really content with the outcome, although there's this kind of initial shock and maybe some initial sad feelings. Alrighty. Up next, let's talk anything related to money. So a quick money message for you. We have an affirmation card. It says, I make smart decisions with the money I am blessed with. So in this call, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you have, investments you have, businesses you run, anything that you associate with money. Job, career, finances. I don't know if I already said that. Sorry if I just repeated myself there. All right, Aquarius. Uh, first, we have the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can be a card of self-imposed restrictions. So we need to be really careful about limiting ourselves as we go into the remainder of February. Just looking ahead, there looks like there's a really good opportunity here. But it's like you could be doubting yourself. Like, I'm not good enough or I don't have these skills. But you need to make sure that you're not holding yourself back. You're not limiting yourself here, Aquarius, as we go after this new opportunity. The next card we have is the Fool card. The Fool card is the first card in the Major Arcana. It's fresh hope, taking chances, new paths, adventures, beginnings. There's definitely something new here for you. And when I see the Fool card, I tell people, like, go for it. Go after it. It's so promising. Again, I do feel like there is a little bit of self-doubt or some, some sort of self-restriction that we want to be cautious of. At the bottom, we have the Magician. The Magician is a card of inspired action, but anything is possible with the Magician. But what I'm hearing here, Aquarius, it's like if you want this, you have to go for it. Again, that's that inspired action, that motivation, that thing that keeps us driving forward. So uh, do keep that in mind. But anything is possible with the Magician card. That's such a great reminder, especially when we have a card like the Eight of Swords, where we could potentially have some doubt uh, questioning our abilities, something along those lines. All right, let's take a look at our clarifiers. All right, first up we have the star card. The star card is a card of renewal, hope, inner clarity. Um, I do think you're going to go for this, but I feel like you really have to talk yourself into it. It's like you have to dig deep to find the hope, to find the inspiration, to find the motivation, to convince yourself, which I hate because I almost it's like you like, don't feel worthy, don't feel deserving, don't feel capable. So I feel like there's like some hyping up here that we have to do. But again, I do feel like you're able to renew the energies and go after it. Also, with this new opportunity, it just looks really promising. Like I feel like energy is a little low right now, Aquarius. So this is a good lift to energy that I think would come with a new opportunity as well. The next card we talked about is the Nine of Swords. Again, these are the doubts, the worries. You could even be so like bothered or thinking about this so much. Maybe it's keeping you up at night, uh, Aquarius. So I feel like there's some highs, there's some lows. There's almost like talking yourself into it. You have to talk around some scenarios and then talk yourself into it is kind of the vibe I'm feeling here. At the bottom, like I mentioned, I do feel like you go for this. At, uh, eventually, we have the Six of Swords. The boat is heading in a forward positive direction. This is all about going through a necessary transitioning. The timing of this is really great, even though, again, it may not feel great. We're processing a lot of other feelings here. Um, but this is like saying now is the time. So I hope you go after whatever this lovely new opportunity is there, Aquarius. Alrighty, next column, anything related to love. So a quick love message for you. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also a reflection of your own. In this call, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love here, Aquarius. At first, we have the death card. I always like to point out for those that don't know, the death card does not mean death, but it does indicate change, transformation. Um, I feel like we're moving on to something new here. Um, 
maybe moving on is not the right word, but we're definitely transforming, we're changing, things are shifting. But looking forward here, I really like this change. I like this shift. First off, the grass is greener on the other side. You see the sh sun shining through there. But then we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is like nose to the grindstone, putting in the hard work. But then with the Knight of Pentacles, this is about re reaping the benefits of your hard work. And I think that's why I love this so much here for you. Aquarius is like, we're going through this transformation, but it's like you fought for it for so long, or it's something like a change you really work towards. So there is change, transformation, transition, whatever you want to call that, whatever that resonates with you there. But it's the thing you've been working for, so I love to see that. At the bottom, we have the Four of Pentacles. This is a card of desires. These are the things that we want, and it's like we're transitioning, we're transforming, we're moving towards this desire, so I love this. You've been working hard to get to this thing that you want, of course, this all some way somehow connects to love, family, friends, relationships, right? Because we're in our love column. I will let you define that, though. And looking at our clarifiers now, we have the temperance card. Um, nice balance, harmony, peace coming. I like that you've had the temperance card twice, actually. In general, I just feel like we all need more balance. We all need more harmony. So um, I think part of this, though, is because you've worked so hard for this, it's like, oh, I'm done working on it. That kind of sigh of relief. Like you made it, you got it there, right? The next card we have is the Nine of Wands. This is that persistence, that working towards it, that effort, that energy, that knows the grindstone, that hard work you've put in. At the bottom, we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very strategic, very intentional, very long term. So I love to see that again. You've been making these moves very intentionally. You've had a strong motivation here. There's this desire, this thing that we want, and you've taken the action you need to get there. You've been very intentional about doing it. So that's wonderful to see. All right, fourth and final column now, a message from our future self or spirit guides. Almost like advice for the remainder of the month here, Aquarius. We have the card productivity. I love a good productive month. So I do think you're gonna have a pretty busy next few weeks. So I do feel like that's worth calling out. Busy is not necessarily a bad thing, especially when we connect it to like productivity, because I feel like you're gonna get a lot done in a really good way. So I like to see that like to see the productivity. I love to cross things off my to-do list, that uh, getting stuff done type energy. Okay, looking at our cards, first up we have the Page of Wands. This is like the action card. This is the doer. This is feet in motion, so I'm not surprised to see this. I do feel like there could be like a new project, a new inspiration, a new undertaking that we're starting to take uh, action on. So again, I feel like there's something new and we're like, yep, we finally have to do it. We have to start getting things done here. I love our repeat Knight of Cups as well. Knight of Cups, again, typically a love card, very romantic, very proposal-like. Um, interesting. Maybe some of you are getting married, and I feel like you're like checking things off your wedding list, Aquarius. So interesting uh, message coming, there, coming through related to love. But I want to talk about just kind of the proposal, the opportunity in general that comes with the Knight of Cups. Um, I feel like this new project, this new inspiration, this new urge that you're starting to take action on is really promising. Uh, again, with the Knight, Knight of Cups, it's like Knight in Shining Armor, Prince or Princess Charming. It's like the perfect, the epitome, the ideal. So love this opportunity for you. At the bottom, we have the Seven of, uh, excuse me, the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> I forgot my words there for a second. Seven of Pentacles, this is a card. Um, this can be patience, waiting, delayed. I feel like you're going to want to delay. I feel like you're going to want to postpone. But I don't know that that's the right answer. Again, I feel like we need to be feet in motion. But it's like if you could wait, you would. Um, like Maybe you're not like feeling really motivated to be super productive, I guess, is what I'm getting at here. <clears throat> but let's see what messages... We can give you through our clarifiers. First up, we have the Ace of Swords. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. Very fitting here with this uh, Page of Wands. There is, again, something new, some sort of undertaking. Uh, and I feel like there's feet in motion. We're taking action here. The next card we have is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is kind of feeling like we're in a low place. We're in a low spot. I feel like energy is maybe kind of low. Like I told you down here, Aquarius, it's almost like if you if you didn't have to, you wouldn't, but now seems to be the time. So really try and kind of push yourself to be protective, to, to have that little extra motivation. But just like you're feeling a little tired, feeling a little burnt out. So 
I feel like if you could float along and not do a whole lot, you probably would, but I feel like now is a good time to take action. At the bottom we have the Devil card. The Devil card's a card of overdoing something. I feel like maybe some of you are like staying up all night watching TV or like playing video games or like we're overdoing something and I think that's pulling energy that we could be using to work on this thing that we need to be productive on. So just be careful of that or it's like we're going out with our friends a bunch or you know we're doing something other than this thing that we need to be productive on. Alrighty now let's do three yes or no questions here Aquarius. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch fortune telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind you can pause the video here and think of them. Question number one, though, is the seven of spades, the number 25 card. This is going to be a no. Question number two, we have the ten of diamonds, the number eight card. That is going to be a no. And question number three, we have the two of spades, the number 34 card. That's going to be a yes. So no, no, yes there for you. We are... Ooh, I forgot what we're doing. We're also going to take a look at your healing stone for this month, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of February. You had heliotrope, which is good for differentiation, protection, fends off any spiritual, emotional assaults, and really helps with clear boundaries. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. Aquarius, your healing note says, there's something beautiful about all scars of whatever nature. A scar means the hurt is over, the wound is is closed, healed, and done with. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But thank you so much, uh, Aquarius, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your February.